Welcome to Monday Make, a series of Steam do-it-yourself videos brought to you by Mach 1 at Phoenix Public Library. I'm Craig, a library assistant with Youth Services, and today we are going to make Marble Madness art. Are you ready to make something? Remember kids, before you start any DIY project, be sure to have permission from your grown-ups. This project has the potential to be messy if not contained. So again, make sure you have supervision and support from your grown-ups to guide you when using the watercolor, inks, or paints that you might use while making this DIY project. Okay, time to gather our materials. So for this project, we're gonna want some papers, uh, marbles, round beads, or rocks, anything that will roll around leaving marks on the page. Um, some paints, inks, watercolors, food color, hot sauce, soy sauce, ketchup, mustard, anything that really is gonna add some color or leave a mark, some kind of trail as the marble rolls through it and rolls around on the paper. Uh, you might want to have some pens or some crayons or markers around. After this project dries a little bit, uh, you're just going to see a bunch of lines on the page and you might be able to get creative with it and add, do some embellishments and add on and get more creative with it. Now, we're going to want to see if you have a pan or a tray with a little bit of a lip to keep the marbles from rolling all over the floor. And remember, these materials can make a mess. So make sure you are prepared and don't wear anything that could get ruined with stains from this project. Ask your grown-up for an old t-shirt or a smock or apron if you have one. Okay, you have the supplies, you have the creativity. Now let's see what we can make and observe. Okay, now uh, if we can find a small cup or a bowl to put our paint in, um, and when I say paint, I mean your watercolor, your ink, or whatever color wash you're using. Uh, it's up to you if you want to have one color at a time or if you want to mix it up and try a few colors uh, together. Uh, this can lead to some great observations about color mixing. So right here, we've uh, I've just got one marble in here and I have it uh, placed in a cookie cutter shape that looks like a bell. And if you have some different shapes like this, this can be fun to kind of contain your art for a while and give you kind of a, a starting project of something to build on. Uh, and I think I might have put a bit too much um, ink in here with water or I might have put too much water. Um, you can make your mix drier or wetter, whatever you want to experiment with. So this can be very like watercolory or it can be very dryish. Uh, but I think the fun is just watching the marble roll around and kind of create these marks. Okay, so here I've taken a straw, and this is a good way to kind of move the ball around without rolling it um, by, you know, moving the edges. You can blow it around to where you want. I've also taken a piece of paper here and rolled it up to simulate the technology of a ballpoint pen. Um, see if you can do that similarly. And this just gives you more control so you can roll the ball where you want and guide it. Uh, making some guided marks if you want, but it's essentially the same mechanism that you're using for a ballpoint pen. So that's a really interesting kind of a steam aspect of this uh, project. Uh, so here's where we have some other things that we can do. You can stop where you are, you can let it dry uh, and see where you, you are, and then maybe take some pens or markers and, and elaborate a little bit more, get creative with it. Uh, here I've taken some uh, black ink, and so here's where you can get some color mixing options going in. Uh, and it it might be to the point where I think I might have, sh I probably should have stopped a while ago, but I couldn't help myself. Look at this marble just rolling around. It's so fun just to watch. So uh, this is again, one of those projects where you can do many times. So don't make this just a one and done. Experiment with some different things, maybe different colors of paper, different colors of ink or paint or a food coloring. Uh, see what works. Lots of ways to experiment with this. Uh, I've let my paper dry here after a while, uh, and I looked at it and I said, oh, it's kind of a mess. What am I going to do with this? Um, but look at the shapes, look at the lines, and consider what you can do with this. Uh, I've decided to make kind of a face out of this because I saw there was opportunity there. I've, you know, the eyeballs, I said, this looks like it's going to be an eyeball. So what is it? Is it a wolf face? Is it a lion face? Something that's got eyes, and I've added some teeth on there. But this is just a quick kind of a, a, a sketch thing 
but if you had a bigger piece of paper and you had less lines on it or less marks or more um, color on there, it's just something where you can have a good starting point and say, what is this? What have I made? It's a good practice in abstract thought. So have fun. Thanks for watching. We hope you had fun making Marble Madness art with us. Please share your finished project with us on Instagram. Ask your grunt to take a photo and post it using the hashtags, hashtag the Monday make and hashtag mock one PPL. And make sure you don't miss out on our next video. Subscribe to the Phoenix Public Library's YouTube channel. This STEAM DIY video has been brought to you by Mach 1 at Phoenix Public Library. We are a space for makers, artists, crafters, and hackers. What will you make next?